Diablo 4 is the fourth entry into the critically acclaimed Diablo series. This game is the most anticipated game of the year, right up there with Breath of the Wild 2, or I guess Tears of the Kingdom, since apparently Nintendo doesn't believe in sequels. A couple days ago, Blizzard released an open beta for Diablo 4, where for the low, low price of $90, or apparently with the purchase of a double down using the KFC app or on their website, players could gain access to this open beta. So naturally, I shelled out the $90, downloaded the 85 gigabyte game, and played as a sorceress until the beta level cap of 25. Actually, I played for much longer even after hitting that level cap. Thanks for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kibbles, and I'm here today to answer the all-important question, was it fun? So the day was March 17th, it was 1pm, I had just woken up with a terrible head cold and realized I need to go rush upstairs and download Diablo 4 so that I can play the beta. After a 30 minute wait, I was finally able to enter the game and I was greeted with the average wait queue time screen which is a pretty standard feature nowadays on any Blizzard launch. So I ate some breakfast, came back, and I was in the game to be greeted with the overly dramatic opening cinematic that has no bearing on actual gameplay at all which is pretty standard nowadays for these AAA games. It was in this cutscene that we are all greeted with the apparent antagonist of the Diablo 4 game which is Lilith, some demonic creature who was summoned in this cutscene. I was then directed to pick my character, kind of awkwardly, so I picked a sorceress and I skipped the entire character customization because it didn't really have much bearing on a game where I see from top down and can't even really see myself. So after another lengthy cinematic, I was now in the game as a sorceress and it was time to actually play Diablo 4. From this point, I was immediately asking myself questions like, is this just going to be like Diablo Immortal? I didn't really have anything to go on just yet, so I had to progress my game before I could find out more. Right out of the gate, I was forced to go to a village and save them from some kind of monster. My reward was getting drugged and them attempting to kill me, which I was then saved by some other crazy person who led me out of there in order to lead me to the introduction cutscene where we actually formally meet Lilith, the antagonist. Now at this point, I wasn't quite free just yet. They wanted to lead me to the main city, so I went to the main city, got through all that side quest, and now finally I hit the point in the game where it feels like I can actually play the game. Now, I have to admit, that wasn't a very long tutorial, which I was thankful for because the game didn't seem very complicated at this point as far as how to play it. Regardless of this, I went ahead and tried to do the main story and immediately got sidetracked going into just random dungeons and killing tons of stuff, looting things, and picking up items. And this is where things got interesting because I realized pretty quickly that the combat system of Diablo 4 well, obviously very similar to Diablo Immortal, Path of Exile, and previous Diablo games, it did feel much better than Diablo Immortal, which was a significant relief. Thank goodness this game was not designed with mobile in mind. The skill tree, for example, actually had a lot of depth to it, a lot of combinations of different things that you could do in order to find the right skills for you. Now, in my case, I just honed in on Arc Lash and built everything around my basic attacks, and this build ended up being very fun and one of the strongest builds that you could build. But if I had wanted to, I could have built a ton of different ways. There's the Fire Hydra that everyone was obsessed with and tons of other different options that can all feel viable and fun and just change up your gameplay and make it fun to play. Now, this was just Sorceress. The other classes are in a similar position. As for the gear progression, it actually did feel very satisfying. The way that I went from using just common items to magic to rare and then slowly getting perks, even by level 25, it made the game feel meaningful, it made the dungeon crawling feel impactful, and as far as I could tell, at least in this beta, there was no pay to win. At the same time though, if they were going to put pay to win, it would be really weird of them to do it in a beta where they're just going to wipe everything that you bought, but they have claimed that they are not going to make Diablo 4 pay to win, but until it actually launches in June, we will have to wait to see to be 100% sure. Regardless of that, I went ahead and did the entire main story that you are allowed to do in the demo. We were not able to get a mount, which didn't really matter, and I did a ton of side quests and did the majority of all of the random dungeons on the map. I even fought the world boss, Ashava the Pestilent, who did not respawn the next day, so I'm not sure if that's a weekly or what that is, 
but I will say that fighting a Shava the Pestilent was actually a lot of fun. The mechanics were not super complicated, but it was the world boss in the starter zone, so I didn't really have high expectations. It did put me in mind, however, of that Lost Ark feature where you take four people and go fight a boss over and over and over again, and those are actually kind of fun. So that really brings me to the point of combat in Diablo 4. The combat is actually pretty fun, but I guess it could actually be a lot less fun depending on how you build. The build that I picked though was very, very engaging and impactful. I felt like I actually had to play the game, but I also felt like I was very overpowered even on veteran difficulty. So it can be fun depending on how you build and how you play the game. Now all of this is just keeping in mind that we could only hit level 25. Now will the game be fun all the way to level 100 and beyond? It's hard to say, but from the small subsample that I had, I can say that this game was pretty fun. Now I personally am not a big fan of these top down isometric style of video games. But even with that being said, I actually did enjoy my time playing in this open beta as a sorceress. The gear progression system was actually very engaging. I had a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed looking through my gear after doing a dungeon run and going through every single thing and seeing, does this give move speed? Does this give damage when close? Looking for the stats that I want for my build. That was actually a very fun experience, which was really nice because in most MMOs that I play, you get some gear and then you just throw it all away and don't really care until you've gained a few levels. But in Diablo 4, even though I'd only gained one or two levels, I still wanted to look at the gear to see what stats it gave instead of just giving the one who had a higher armor value or whatever and not really caring during the leveling process. So in that regard, Diablo 4 was a big win for fun when it came to the gear progression system. What it'll look like at level 100 though, that's anyone's guess at this point, but in the leveling process 125, it was pretty great. And that brings me back to the skills. The skills were actually very fun. I had a lot of fun redoing my skills, trying out different abilities, trying out different combinations and things. I actually had a ton of fun finding a build that fit me, that suit me, that suited my playstyle and how I wanted to play. There was a ton of talk about this Hydra Chain Lightning build, but I actually had way more fun with another build that didn't do as much DPS, but had more survivability and had more mobility and was much more versatile. So you can build different ways. You can build for survivability versatility, or you can build glass cannon DPS. There were just lots of options, and no matter which option you picked, your decisions did feel meaningful, at least in the experiences that I had. Now, all of that is in huge contrast to a game like Diablo Immortal. I did not have that experience at all in their mobile pay to win game. So thankfully, I can at least say that Diablo 4 is going to be an actual video game, at least when compared to the travesty of Diablo Immortal. But there is one other thing I really need to talk about here and whether or not it was fun. So. There was the story, there were cutscenes, there were dialogues, and for some people, they would disagree with me, and they always will on this. I'm not really a fan of cinematic stories and cutscenes in most video games. Most of them fall flat with me, and Diablo 4 was no exception. After just the first 20, 30, 40 minutes of gameplay, I found myself skipping literally every single cinematic and cutscene and dialogue because they just dragged their feet, people talked extremely slow, and it just was a very, very boring experience for me. I could not find myself even slightly interested in the story. But keep in mind, many people would feel differently than I do. I'm sure there were plenty of people who see the story in Diablo 4 and want to hear every dialogue and want to hear every cutscene. And the same thing went for Lost Ark. I had the same experience there. I saw the story in Lost Ark and thought it was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life and had no fun at all watching or hearing any of it and some people actually enjoyed it and would disagree with me, so just take that all with a grain of salt. But I feel like most people who enjoy Diablo are not here for the story, we're here for the mechanics, the gear, the items, the skills, the combat, and all of that, and how it all ties together. Speaking of which, there were other mechanics that were kind of fun. There was upgrading potions, there was the blacksmith, there was upgrading gear a few times if you find one that you really like. There was jewelry, there was enhancements, enchantments, all sorts of different ways to modify your gameplay and to work towards different things. You could gather herbs and gather ores and silver and iron and all these things, and then you can bring those things back to the city and try to craft certain things or upgrades. And while I don't know if that's going to be effective or useful at all in the super late game, 
at least during the leveling process, it did add some entertainment and enjoyment to the whole process. Also something to keep in mind is that apparently this beta was cross-platform. The game's apparently going to be cross-platform. They encourage the party system, so if you have friends to play with, you will actually have more fun than you would have had as a solo player. Which brings me full circle back to the original question, was it fun? Was Diablo 4 fun to play? Now from my perspective as an all-around gamer, I enjoy all genres from strategy to action to story driven to JRPGs, every single genre under the sun, competitive action, you name it. I have enjoyed all of them except for visual novels. And from my perspective, I would say Diablo 4 was actually pretty fun. It wasn't like the most fun thing I've ever done in my entire life as far as gaming goes, but it was pretty good. If you actually like the Diablo series and you're just looking to repeat what you've done in the past and just do it a new way and have it be fun again with some different changes, bells and whistles, better graphics, kind of barely maybe, you know, you could actually have a lot of fun playing Diablo 4. Now, is it worth $90 to get into the beta? That depends on how much of a super fan you are for the series. If you're just a casual gamer who likes these top-down isometrics like Path of Exile, you probably just want to buy the normal version and wait until June when it actually comes out. But yes, Diablo 4 was fun. To a general audience, I would rate it like a 7 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10. And for the right audience, people who like these isometric dungeon crawler games, I would give it maybe a 9 out of 10 or possibly higher. It really hits the nail right on the head for this exact genre of game, at least in the period we got to experience, which was levels 1 through level 25. So one final time, was the Diablo 4 open beta fun? Yes. Was it worth $90? No. Only because I am a YouTuber who has to do it. Was it worth buying a double down at KFC? Definitely. But overall, the game's a pretty good time. I look forward to it coming out and actually playing it for real in June. Again, this has been Kibbles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, leave a comment, and if you really want to go above and beyond, go find another video on my channel and watch that too. Diablo 4. It's going to be kind of fun.